Several people in the last video were interested in how I was eating blighted manta rays outside of the wilderness. What is the charge? Eating a manta ray? A succulent Chinese manta ray? 77 days ago, I rolled this chunk, the Revenant chunk. Alongside 89 agility and 87 fletching, I also need to green log the Revenants. After 16 days, I received a crossbow, and after 23 days, I lost a crossbow. However, after a further 42 days of killing Revenants with a maple shortbow, I still haven't received another Revenant unique. This changes today. Welcome back to Cannabis Chunk. Views are down. Just look at the state of my real-time view count since Leagues on screen. I think this is more to do with Leagues content saturation than anything I'm doing wrong. However, I'd like to try and keep my motivation high. And frankly, as a RuneScape player, number go up really helps with this. So if you could drop a like and comment on this video or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, it would be massively appreciated. Thank you for watching. So, quick question before the live clip start. On losing the crossbow, should I have to get another one to complete the chunk? The chunk picker says you must equip a crossbow and you must get a crossbow in your collection log, both of which I've technically done despite not having the crossbow anymore. So, question for you guys in the comments is, should I have to get a second one to tick off the chunk before I can move on? Hello and welcome to the first live clip of the next video. The video where we are going to be getting a unique from Revenants. Uh, so, where we're starting? We're starting at 21,928 kill count. 10 ancient totems, that's pretty cool. 3 ancient relics, which is a highlight. And then obviously the crossbow that we got at 9,200 kill count and lost. So we're about 12,000 kills dry of getting a unique and these uh, pyre fiends are one in four and a half thousand. So we're starting at about three times dry and hopefully we can get the weapon at the start of the video, get a, get a bit of luck finally. And then most of this video will just be me going, you know, pew pew with a crossbow or uh, pew, with, a, with a staff or clobber clobber with a with a with a chain mace um but it might not be we won't be waiting right till the end to get it but we will be getting a revenant weapon or an amulet of avarice in this video hopefully i mean i'll be honest i would like to get my crossbow back that would be cool but the vigorous chain mace i think would be my absolute tip top pick if i could pick something so fingers crossed that that's our uh, our one in four Oh, go on then. Let's let's grab another gold bar, hopefully. Go on, I'll unlock your chest for you. Why not? Right, coins, bar, coins, unlock. Another gold bar, things you love to see. That's taken us up to two. So we've got a ring of wealth in the bank, and we can now make two rings of dueling, which will be useful for us in the long run. Oh, I'm getting absolutely sick of these Revenants, Revenant bots. I mean, 482 total level on this guy. Uh, I wish I could get like another 200 total levels and I could go to the uh, at least one of the total level worlds and then there'd probably be, probably be less of the bots. But it looks like we're all right. Good times. These are just always the juice. The dra the double dragon plate leg is always just absolute fire. So, so nice. 320k in cash. And it's not even a unique. So, so, so nice. <laughs> fucking hell. Leave me alone. Ancient crystals. Can't fucking move for them. I think that's the eighth one that I've had now. Oh, come on. I just... just Praying for a unique. Come on, I've got enough money. I've got enough crystals. Just give me a unique. Oh, 
500k emblem they are the same rarity as the, the high value ones so that is a bit of an l but look at that 1.1 mil in the bag we also picked up the six magic seeds drop on this trip as well which again is another hilariously rare drop but it's nice that we're at least getting interesting stuff and adding to the bank value Okay, this is about to be a huge moment for the account, which is level 91 range, which may not seem like a huge deal, but for the first time since we hit level 85, so six levels ago now, we're getting ourselves, I think, a max hit. So I believe, ne there we go. 17 with the Adi Arrows. We are absolutely massive now. Um, that is huge. So yeah, I mean, extra max hits are always nice. I think the next one is at like 96 or 97 or something. So hopefully we'll never reach it because I'll have some kind of slightly better weapon by then. Um, what would be very nice would be an Amulet of Avarice. I've said it before, but if my base max hit is 17 and I get, what, 20% from an Amulet of Avarice, I mean, I should be hitting, what, 21s with a Maple Shortbow, which is pretty big in you know all things said uh so yeah let's hope we get that or another weapon soon but yeah we are now going to be killing these revenants slightly faster huge moment for the account right here we are just about to get level two farming look at that our first farming level which is good because that means our lamps are now twice as effective so that is the biggest percentage jump in lamp effectiveness right there uh kind of level two to level like 12 is like actually really really quick and then it kind of slows down from there um but if we can get to level 15 if we unlock a farming a couple well, a couple of farming chunks we'd need the tree patch one and we'd need one where we can actually get a spade and seed dibber and that kind of thing. Because I don't think you can get them from just that patch alone. But when we do, we have a lot of XP. I mean, a lot of it is gated at um, 60 and 75 farming for the U and magic seeds that we're getting from here. But we're going to get way more of them before we green log this place, evidently. Um, seeing as at the moment we're on rate to have to do like 100,000 revenant kills to green log, which would not be ideal. Um, but we've got a lot of bird's nests from getting 80 wood cutting as well, and we're probably going to have to do a bit more wood cutting uh, to get the 87 fletching that we need in this chunk. So either way, the farming is looking quite, quite sort of a bit more possible at the moment which is which is quite nice it would be nice to get a tree patch before unlocking any other bullshit from farming basically um and getting it up to level 15 via lamping while i can is a big component of that we also just broke over 200 rune plate legs which is pretty crazy and 40 dragon plate legs. Um, yeah, we got 61 magic seeds and 39 U seeds, which is a lot of farming XP there. I mean, the 60 magic seeds is what? Uh, 750k magic XP, uh, farming XP, and I imagine that is going to be another, what, 7k each, so another 280 right there, which is quite a lot, considering we've still got quite a lot of uh, revenants to go. And 108 of those and that is going to be a lot of uh sort of those lower level seeds that we need to get us up to level 60 once we hit level 60 we'll be flying it's going to be getting to level 60 which will be rough but i mean it's only 270k xp that is really not too much is it i mean that's what like a hundred willow trees something like that which is you know willow tree yeah willow trees probably about 2.7 aren't they no, they're probably not. <laughs> they're probably like 1.5. Um, but still, it's a realistic amount of XP to get. And then once we get there, we're going to be flying. We could get probably like 80, 80 farming just off like mostly this stuff um, from level 60. Um, maybe not. Maybe more like sort of, I mean, we're going to be like what? We're going to be short on the usage. But by the time we actually finish Revenants, we're going to be flying. I mean, yeah, because once we get to 75, we're going to have 
you know, easily 100, 200, maybe 300 magic seeds, which is going to be uh, millions of XP. So, yeah, that will be nice because it will mean that we can actually do some proper sort of like herb runs and stuff in future, which would be very nice indeed. Just a reminder that it's your last chance to pick up some Frey merch with a 15% discount this week. So if something on screen catches your eye, all purchases are massively appreciated. Thank you very much. This guy is the bossiest of PK bots that I have ever seen. He is here all the time, right? And he always attacks me and always fails to kill me. And it is painful because he does exactly the same thing every single time. So he's going to do mage and then I keep the power and then he does range. Like so. And then he does mage. And he'll probably do mage again because he's going to try and bind me. There we go. And he splashed and he doesn't have the agility level. The bottiest of bot. And look, he'll path all the way around here, I think, trying to attack me still. Yeah, look at that. <laughs> I could probably keep him here all day by just hopping across here and hopping back again. He's probably going to path back this way now. Is he? No. But it is annoying. <laughs> I wish they'd actually do something about these bots. It is crazy. Because so, not only are these guys all bots. See, uh, they're, the PK is a bots as well. It's a whole ecosystem of ridiculous bots. It is stupid. Like, I, 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 Do any real players play the game? I mean, you see it. When when the servers update, look, he's gonna go for me again. Oh, <laughs> for fuck's sake! Why didn't I hop? Oh, painful, painful. Wow, there's a real PK. -er. Oh, it's, oh, right. I'm gonna pay attention to the audience. All I need to do is is move one level of wilderness down which i think is about three squares and i should get away but look at this guy he's stacked <laughs> that was so close oh my goodness actual players we love to see them wow that was cool i like that i'm actually kind of wrecking this guy i should go for the kill look at this i'm taking him out i'm taking him right out <laughs> See, this is the kind of PK that I'm like, why are you even bothering? It's just, just, it's a waste of your time. It's a waste of my time. I mean, I'm pretty sure it's a, is he a bot? I don't know. He seems quite, like, his clicks aren't too bad. Oh, he actually has a Gmail. Yeah, that's not a bot, but he's at least trying. He's at least trying. Bye. I, I love the sad moonwalk that they do have to do away. Uh, am I comfortable with this amount of food? I might die, but it might be worth it. Might be worth it. Let's go back to the other high-risk squad. The high-risk squads are generally better, but people do go in them. And when, when they go in them, they tend to stay in them as well. So I wouldn't be too surprised if I see that guy again in the new, in the other high-risk world. <laughs> that clip of me getting the genie was literally an hour ago, probably. Maybe less. Uh, so that is another lamb from Count Check. Things you love to see. And let's chuck that on farming for our first 20 XP drop. Huge. We're going to fly through those levels. Four more lamps until level three. Oh, here we go. It's the same guy with with actually having the agility level. Here we go. There oh, Look at that perfect pro melee. That was very nice. Okay, right, what are we going to do here? Because he's definitely got the agility level, so we could be in a bit of trouble here. Um, I need to decide when it's going to be the best time to cross back. Probably when he goes immediately, right? Uh, or do we just run? Ugh. Yeah, that didn't work. Okay, oh, oh. Oh, so annoying when you when you think you've got it, but you don't. Oh, can we fake this guy out over the over the things? That's so tough. I don't think he's got pre-crossing in though. I don't think he's that kind of guy. Just probably splashes at the wrong moment. That's not good. I don't think we've actually hardly got anything on us at all. But. 
that Addy arrow being on there is actually quite big because it might make him misclick. Looks like it did just. Come on. Come on. Come on. No! Oh! Oh, we're so done. Right, what am I going to do here? He's level 91 combat, which is really quite bad for us. Um, I need to... I think i got to go back. I don't think I'll make it down to the bottom. Um, so we'll just go this way again. Hope for the best. Ugh. No, we're definitely going to die here. There's no way we make this. The way he puts his fire cape on really signposts the fact he's about to DDS. So never do that if you're a PK. Um, right, I think we're probably going to die here, but we'll give it a go. Uh, Go on. No! Oh, that could have been it. That could have been it. No, he's got us. We're done. Oh, so lame. Pathetic. <laughs> oh, we've ran out of money. Oh, I'm going to have to alk something because I can't even go into the cave to turn in my emblems unless I've got the 100k. So, oh. Dying over and over. That's twice today I've died. I didn't die at all yesterday to get in those 700 kills. And then today, we've died twice before we've got like 200. Oh, yet another one mil. God, I lost my voice a bit there. Yet another one mil emblem. We have 11 of those now. I think probably about six of them in the bank. We've turned in five. Can't move for these things. Uh, they're pretty common though. I think they're like one in 1.7k or something like that. So not too bad. Oh, fucking hell. 500k emblem is literally more, like, rarer than a unique. Same rarity as the 16 mil emblem, and the 8 mil emblem, and the 4 mil emblem, but it's just worth 500k instead. Oh, please, can we just flip the script and get some RNG in the things we want? It's amazing. No one is actually interested in killing regular players here. It's literally a bot hunting farm, because look... I had this guy attack me, and I was like, oh, hold on, beast. And then he just stopped. So I stayed, and then, you know, five, six, seven minutes later, this guy gets on me, and I'm like, hey, man, and he just offs as well. He could have easily killed me as well. He was like a max voider. Uh, yeah, I was literally a max med. The, the kind of account that killed me for my crossbow. Um, but, uh, yeah, literally, all they're here to do is hunt bots, which is, I guess, good for me, although bad for them at the moment because it's update day, and there are no bots in the rev caves which you'd think would be a good thing but it is definitely not because i basically just use them as like remote sculling targets whereas when there's none here oh my god it's painful trying to get a skull um so yeah i'm, I'm hoping they come back soon <laughs> and here we go 92 range and 80 combat on the extreme one chunk account exciting stuff we don't actually get any max hits i don't believe for 92 range but halfway to 99 so we, we started this chunk at level 30 range and now we're level 92 so yeah are we gonna hit level 99 before the end of the chunk i think it's looking like a distinct possibility based on the fact that we have a uh, zilch in terms of uniques but I guess we'll see. Oh, for fuck's sake, I wasn't even looking at my screen. I just got two hit with a ballista. <laughs> for fuck's sake. Oh, I think I had a decent amount of loot on me then as well. The most annoying thing is losing my arrows because just having to go and buy them back is so, so lame. All uh, right, what should we go for this time? Up to over 600 bracelets now, which is pretty nice. I believe that is a full outfit. It is indeed. And then we just go one, two, three, and one, two. And we're ready to go again. That is how quick the regear is. But we don't do it too often. But when we do, 
it hurts. The Addy Arrows are so expensive. Even though I got loads of money, the Addy Arrows are still expensive and annoying to buy. Uh, I think what I'm going to have to do is turn in some emblems at some point soon because that cash stack is looking bleak. Okay, I've been running around the caves like a nutter, but I have just found this guy here. Let's just... Hang on. Okay, there we go. 40 mil GP. Now I just need to... In fact, I should probably hop away to the world I was just on just because there's less PKs in the higher risk worlds. Oh, right. It is very scary running around here with 40 mil GP on me. My run energy is not looking good because I was pacing around the caves for so long. Um... But it should be all right. 40 mil is going to go a long fucking way to buying us a lot more arrows and such. So out a run. This is scary. Okay, we made it back with our 40 mil GP and we can chuck it into the bank. That is so nice. Uh, we're pretty much out of Addy arrows now. I've only got 120 left. Uh, but I reckon it's probably time to go and buy some more. I'm also tempted to just go and buy a load of runes as well and start back up on our magic training. I'm level 80 at the moment. And I don't know if, like, like should I get 99? Because, you know, then as soon as I get a Tharamon Scepter, it'll be as good as it's ever going to be. Or should I stay at 80, maybe get some XP? Um, or should I get like just to like 90 and then leave some XP for me to get? It feels like a waste getting 99 and then like just spamming loads of uh, Tharamon Scepter for, you know, if that if that's the rev weapon that I get first. And, you know, if I ever end up with Barrows, I'll have to do loads of that as well. Um, so, yeah, let me know what you think on that. Okay, so I am very, very grateful, feeling very grateful at the moment. So we just finished off buying... 10,000 Addy Arrows, which is worth like absolutely nothing and cost me uh, nearly 2 mil. Um, but I'm very grateful I can buy arrows. I know a lot of chunk men really struggle with range because they've got to make their ammunition in some capacity. So just being able to buy it is very, very nice. Oh, yet again, Ancient Crystals. I think that's the ninth one. Oh, it'll be nice to have the obelisk in my house one day, but... I don't need any more of those. Okay, big number coming up. With that kill there, we are at 25,000 Revenant kill count. Nearly 16,000 since we got the crossbow. So we are approaching four times the drop rate of another unique, which is getting pretty brutal now. But hopefully we can get one soon. Is kill count 25,000 and one going to be the kill? Hopefully. Ah, oh, some guy just got an amulet of avarice just as I left. Why couldn't it be me? I wish it was me. Oh, another two mil statuette. Oh, we're getting so many of the emblems and statuettes lately, but unfortunately just none of the, um, none of the uniques. But another two mil to stick into the bank account. Very nice. I mean, it'll be a while till we cash them in again because that 40 mil that I did earlier is definitely the fattest stack of cash that I've ever um, had at once, so that will last a long time. There'll be a lot of Addy Arrows. Um, I mean, if I go through all that before getting a unique, uh, uh, that would be mad. Um, so I'm hoping I won't need to really cash emblems in again unless it's for a specific reason like uh, construction or something like that. So nice little one for the collection. No, oh, I wasn't really paying attention and my heart just skipped a beat when I saw the pink text, four mil emblem, rarer than a unique once again. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'll take the GP though. Four mil's pretty good. Oh, the pink text looks so good on the ground, but the, uh, yeah, the expectation subversion from that is wild. That's a very clean number, 1,000 battle staffs in the loot tab, 
8.2 mil on the GE. It is nuts how much the bank on this account is worth. 243 million GP on the Extreme One Chunk account. Most of it in Revenant loot and obviously 40 mil of it nearly in cash. Just look at some of these item stacks. They're getting so big. And they're only going to get bigger because we are currently at... 25,341 kills and currently have zero of the uniques you know technically minus the crossbow I guess but hopefully that unique rate picks up because if I if let's hope we don't hit 100 dragon plate legs that would be bad because <laughs> we are about four and a half well about four times over eight at the moment so yeah if we get up to 100 dragon plate legs we have failed miserably <laughs> oh god sorry that's probably really loud i just escaped this guy by running south and was laughing at him and now this guy's on me uh luckily this guy's only uh 32 agility so it'll be an easy escape but <laughs> i ran away from one pk was shit talking him and then this guy gets on me and starts like trying to waste me as well Oh, it's painful. There's a high-risk world as well, so there's literally nothing more I can do to try and get away from them. Um, yeah, annoying. <sighs> Fucking hell. Oh, God. I was not ready to talk there. I just cannot stop getting GP, can I? Oh, another 16 mil emblem. Please, just give me a unique... Oh, the 16 mil GP is much appreciated, but fucking hell. Oh, I'm getting to that stage, right? You know the stage that everybody fucking hates people, where they're moaning more than they're being happy, and I'm definitely at that stage at this point. Uh, so, <laughs> oh, God. One day, one day, it will be something... I, I see the pink text, right? I see the pink text, I see the 16 mil value, and I'm like, my God, I just got a crossbow again. And, <laughs> alas, I did not. But, at least if we're going to get a, a dummy rare emblem that's more rare than a unique, at least it is the Ancient Relic, which is by far our best one. That is 64 mil in Ancient Relics that we've got at this point, which is just absolutely massive. Um so happy to get those in in reality and in the long run it will help me a lot getting all these good emblems because as we're seeing with limpwa at the moment these uh gp is definitely a finite resource even for me even with this chunk there are scenarios where i could get in a bit of bother with gp um so i'm very happy to see that I'm getting a lot of it because it is handy. So up to 200 mil in there now, which is just massive. Like these item stacks are just getting crazy, aren't they? Like even the small ones, like 1500 Addy bars. That's like a decent amount of smithing XP one day when I can actually use those. Um, like 20,000 blood runes, 700 black dragon hide, 200 rune war hammers. I mean, that's just a nothing drop. And yeah, it's 4.8 mils worth of GP. So, yeah, I really want to get an 8 mil emblem and then I can have one of each. But, very good to get another 16 mil one. I'm sure you guys think I probably put a lot of PK attempts in and stuff like that, but I only try and put the best ones in. But what I think is quite funny is at any given time, you can generally kind of see in my chat what's kind of been going on um in the like while i've not been recording uh i love i love i love shit talking the pks they deserve it they deserve it man come on get your own resources kill your own revenants cannot move for magic seeds in the bank i think i'm now up to over 70 magic seeds which is just nuts i don't even bank anymore when i get them because i'm like ah, if i lose them i lose them Hey, there we go. We got our second 8 mil one. There we go. That is going to complete our collection in the bank. I've got Stella with me at the moment because Phoebe's gone to the doctors uh, with my wife. But uh, yeah, 8 mil effigy. Very, very nice indeed. Very nice. Oh, there we go. Look how nice that looks in the bank. At least we have one of each now. And I'm going to try and not trade in any of the singles. So ideally, we're going to have, you know, what is it? 31 and a half mils worth of emblems 
in the bank forever. Oh, so nice to have the full set in there. That looks so good. Wow. This guy actually spellbook swapped to kill me. And I, I'm pretty sure I literally just got here. Oh my god. He actually spellbook swapped to kill me. Oh my goodness. That is nuts. <laughs> That's so funny. Oh, I don't. I think he's probably gonna kill me. To be honest, he's the ones with like rigor and piety and stuff just hit way too hard. Uh, oh, ouch. Yeah, not not much I can do against the 60 attack med with 99 strength, 99 range, 99 magic. Um, <laughs> rip. It's so annoying because that guy, yesterday, he played for about eight hours basically just swapping between the high-risk worlds and not. It was so infuriating. It basically makes the high-risk worlds like off-limits to me for, you know, eight hours in the middle of the day which is right when i want to be doing most of my rev killing so that is particularly annoying um it means i have to go into pleb worlds and then there's just other generally more annoying like worse pks because that's where like all the like bot pks go um so that's quite annoying this one guy basically just ruins my whole party and brings my kills per hour down by like a lot now oh, for fuck's sake BBL loving, what a name that is. Uh, 65 agility, so we should be good. Uh, my god, stop maxing on me. Christ. This guy's absolutely working me through absolutely no skill of his own. He's a real player, though. I'll give him that. I ain't trying to predict them. Come on. Fucking hell. Look at that, he's taking like nearly all my food just getting to here and he's got like pleb gear and everything. Come on. No DDS? Come on. Ugh. I need to get that plugin that shows you how long you've got. Come on. Oh, there we go. Okay. Ah, oh, it feels good to escape from them like that. And this is why having the uh, high risk worlds is good. We use 28 arrows and that's what we got in our looting bag before we had to bank because we were poisoned with hardly any food. Uh, <laughs> so that's what happens when you uh, do it in the regular worlds versus the high risk worlds. Uh, hopefully, hopefully we can have some more luck. Oh shit, boys, we got a Theraman Scepter. Let's grab it and go. Oh, it's in my looting bag, which is bad. Uh, right. Okay. Oh, Theraman's Scepter. That is big. That is big. Oh, as if I got one. Finally. Oh, fuck. I fucked up by letting it go into the looting bag, though. I need to make sure I get out of here without dying. Because if I die with it in my looting bag, it's going to go. Oh, look at that. Look at that. That is nice. I, <laughs> I kind of wish it was any other one, but I'm so happy about that. Yes, 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 right, let's get to the safe zone, then we'll look at how much kill count that took us. Theremin Scepter, new collection log slot, that is huge, 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 huge. Right, let's take a little look, shall we? Uh, so that was 26,128 kill count. Two items to go until we've green logged the revenants. Right. Let's uh let's grab it out of the looting bag, shall we? Okay, right, let's get it out. Stick it in the bank. There it is, looking bad ass. Look at this thing. I mean my main issue with the Theron Scepter is with the crossbow and with my maple shortbow, I've got gear because I can make a green, uh, black dragon hide body and black dehyde chaps. With the scepter, I've got absolutely nothing. I think maybe my robes here give a tiny amount of mage bonus, but otherwise we're kind of where we are. But that's a decent amount, isn't it? How much is the mage bonus on that? Only plus 15 attack, which isn't great. 
Uh, it gives plus 20 defense, which is interesting. And then, yeah, they give plus two each. So I guess that's not too bad, but I can't get them very easily. So if I lose them, I'll, I'll lose them. But look at that bad boy. Oh, it's a nice looking weapon. Now, I believe you could, yeah, it's a powered staff, so you can just use it like that. Um, I need to charge it up. Let's grab some ether, shall we? 1500 should do. And let's have a look. Does it change its appearance when it's charged? Uh, yes, the gem gets a bit bigger. Uh, are the stats any different? No. Um, okay, awesome. So I need to now decide if this is like the best way to be. Also, should I put it on defensive and get a load of combat levels? I don't think so. I think keeping 40 defense is probably the best. Um, but I should probably start splashing my magic again, shouldn't I? And I'm definitely not going to use this thing Scald. <laughs> I can tell you that for free. Um, but that's cool. And I wonder what my DPS and damage is going to be like with it. With the crossbar, I could obviously go and do like demons and dragons and knights. No problem. I don't think it's going to be the same with this. Because as I say, with crossbar, I had the, the black dehyde as well. But the scepter. That's a nice looking weapon, isn't it? That does look fucking good. Um... So, yeah, let's get stuck in and see how it goes. Right, I'm struggling with what NPC I should try and kill with this staff. Because um, Pyrophenes are actually a bad option with the staff because they've got really high magic resistance. Cyclopses might be a decent test just to kind of see how it goes. Um, yeah, let's, let's, let's give that a go. Oh, I don't actually have any good prayers, do I? Um, okay, right, let's try that. Or should we try a demon? Let's try a demon, see how it goes. I'm thinking it's going to go quite badly because demons have quite high magic defense and I have no magic gear. Uh, okay, yeah, right. We've hit three zeros in a row followed by a small number. Uh, uh, we seem to be hitting all right now, actually. Um, at least we can hit some decent numbers again. I'm guessing the max hit's going to be higher than that. It's probably going to be 20-something. Uh, 24, not bad. Um... Okay, right. I need to find a revenant that has high, like, you know, decent drop potential, but also doesn't have really high magic like uh, these demons do. Um, orcs, potentially? Um, not sure. Maybe hobgoblins, because I think they've got a really fast spawn rate. Oh, I could do, uh, I could do hellhounds. I think they're actually quite good. Right, so I just like nearly killed a hellhound, and I'm struggling with that even. So I'm thinking, oh, there we go. That's our max hit. Twenty-seven is our max hit. That's pretty beast. Um, I think it'll go up again as well when I uh, when I get another magic level. Um, so yeah, it, this is still quite tricky to kill, and the accuracy isn't quite there. So the magic level of a hellhound is a hundred and four. And a Cyclops is 65, and a Hobgoblin is 55. So I think the Cyclops and the Hobgoblins might work. But I think based on kind of what I've experienced so far, and the fact I've got no mage uh, gear in terms of like giving actual like attack bonuses, that I think potentially sticking with the Pyrophenes is going to be the best. I think a Maple Shortbow sculled at the Pyrophenes is going to be better than anything I can do with this staff um, in all likelihood. Uh, which is kind of a shame because it would be nice to use our new weapon. But I just don't really see an application. Unless I can kill these Cyclopses very, very quickly and very, very consistently, I don't really see where this staff is going to fit in necessarily. Um, so, like, how's the damage on these? Is it better? I'm still missing quite a lot with 65. Uh, with uh, the Cyclopses having 65 magic attack. So potentially not great, although we're hitting quite well now, really. Um, maybe this works. I think it, I think the main issue is that I just don't have any gear. So my accuracy is just terrible because the staff's got like plus 15 and that's kind of that. Um, Cyclopses are also just very, very busy as well. I'm going to try and I'm going to check out the Hobgoblins and see how it is. Uh, but I think and if that isn't very good then that's kind of our last our last option really 
So this is another problem. I can't really force people to leave hobgoblins. So there's one hobgoblin here. Is there an is there another one? Um I don't really know. Uh there should be two here, no? Am I being really dense or what? Oh yeah, there is two. So let's see how the kills per hour is here. So the rough maths is working out that I'm getting about two kills per minute. And uh, the reason for that is my DPS is definitely higher, I would say. But um, I'm unsculled and these have way higher hit points. So they've got 72 hit points. Um, so I can kill them about every 30 seconds, the same as I can with the MSB, uh, the Maple Shortbow, at the... Uh, at the pyre fiends but crucially the damage doesn't make up for the fact that i'm unsculled and me being unsculled is kind of a problem right so instead of the one in 4.6k that i'm getting at the pyre fiends sculled with a maple short bow because i don't care if i die and lose it is less than the 1 in 8.3 chance that I'm getting here at the Hobgoblins because Hobgoblins have exactly the same drop rate as the Pyre Fiends but if I'm using the Theramon Scepter I won't be able to scull up so yeah I think it just isn't worth using because the drop rate is just worse and the kills aren't much faster now that I've got it though I think it's probably going to be worthwhile for me to um use splashing i like to when i'm when i'm afking and stuff to get my magic level up because um i don't think that i'm going to use this again really until i get to do other content so my my thought was oh i won't splash loads of magic because i'm probably if i end up having to use the theramon scepter uh Thamaron's scepter sorry to um Level to, to like kill revenants because that's the best way to do it then i'm going to get loads of passive magic xp anyway and doing the splashing will be a waste of time which probably would be the case but if i'm making the decision to not use it to kill revenants then there's absolutely no reason not to get out of this chunk with as high a magic level as possible possibly you know into the 90s um because why not <laughs> like if i get to a chunk after this like barrows or something it's only going to be easier for me already having 99 magic and the only reason not to get 99 magic or at least as close to it as possible uh in this chunk is that it's going to cost a load of gp that i might you know might be better spent elsewhere but realistically the amount of gp i've got is fucking nuts like it's off the charts compared to other chunk men and i can also quite realistically come here whenever i need in future and get more so is my like you know potentially barrows um stuff going to be boosted and made better by the fact that i've got higher magic from splashing almost certainly so yeah that's my thoughts around that and i think is my decision that i'm going to start splashing again um, and, you know, if I get 99, I mean, what, how much many more max hits is that? Six max hits? I'd be able to hit 33s here with the staff, and I'd have even more accuracy. You know, suddenly that might be worth using here as well. So, yeah, I think, you know, I think this is probably the right decision. Uh, I'm quite enjoying using the staff, and it is nice seeing some big numbers again. But I think that it's just not quite worth it i think if i got the vigorous chain mace it would probably be slower but would be worth it once i got my strength up um but i already have relatively high magic and this isn't particularly worth it um so yeah i think what i'm gonna do is stick to the maple short bow uh and start splashing again so another question do we think that splashing with like so what i was doing previously right was i was using my uh fire strike to splash uh which was you know per six hour session getting me about 75k xp but now that i'm massively rich should i potentially look at doing chaos runes because what they'd be 10 times more expensive but twice as much xp so let me do the quick maths on that so the wiki reckons 
that it's 11.5 XP for a fire strike and uh, 11, no, 22.5 XP for a fire, what are they called? Fire bolt. Um, my thinking is that that's what double the XP per hour, and it reckons that for fire strike, it's going to take me from level 81 to level 99, uh, 800 hours to get to level 99 magic so i mean what that is in real terms is what like 130 days ish give or take um to to get the xp needed if i do one six hour session per day if i do fireball it's 400 hours total uh, which brings that 130 days down to about 65 days, which is, what, two months of one session a day, which I can quite realistically do. Uh, it reckons the total cost all in, if I use Bolt instead of Strike, is it's going to be about 50 mil if I use Bolt, and it's going to be about 20 mil if I use Strike. So 30 mil to save about 400 hours um, is what we're talking and that is what a GP per hour rate of like 100k per hour. And I have an insane money maker, right? Um, so I think it's probably quite realistically worth using Firebolt. I also think it's probably quite likely that it's worth using Fire Blast because death runes really aren't too expensive from this shop the only issue with them is that i can't buy them very quickly with um kind of the with the shop that i have here because there's no such thing as death rune packs right so as cheap as they are which is that's not the price of them they're like 180 gp each uh and then i buy i can buy packs of chaos runes and the packs of chaos runes is probably just worth it um but that's very, very interesting because I think what I need is about half a million casts and I could buy quite a decent percentage of that just with this GP here. Bearing in mind I have an extra 16 mil emblem in the bank already so I can afford to just buy the runes for 99 magic. I'm not going to buy them all in one go because if I roll another, if I roll the barrier's chunk, like if I finish this chunk very quickly and then roll the barrier's chunk, then I'm going to be in a decent amount of bother. But I think this is probably actually going to be the way. And just to start buying an ass load of, uh, ass load of Chaos Runes is going to be the play, realistically. Um, look at this. This is, this is kind of crazy, isn't it? <laughs> uh, so you need three Air Runes per Firebolt in comparison to two uh, for Fire Strike. So... It's going to be a bit longer buying these, and I'm only going to buy one per world. But I think I'll buy at least 100,000 casts of a Firebolt, and then we can sort of set to it at some point today, start burning through our six-hour sessions, and, yeah, really uh, start getting some progress on the magic training. Because if I do a six-hour session with Chaos Runes, we're talking, what? 27,000 XP per hour times 6, which is 42, 160-odd KXP. So that's 160 KXP per day we're going to be getting doing this. So the magic levels will fly. And the thing is, because it's so AFK, I'll be able to do it in instances when I wouldn't be able to do anything else so for example i'm about to go on christmas holiday uh, from work so i'm going to be spending a lot more time with the kids and this kind of thing so i'm probably not going to be playing as much like properly like you know sat there doing revenants and stuff like that but i'll definitely have the capacity to be able to um splash on remote desktop for example so where it sounds like i'm only going to be getting 160k xp per day I could probably quite easily push that up to 400k XP per day uh, with kind of very little effort at all because um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have so many hours in the day free to splash. So suddenly that 400 hours when you're doing something that you can AFK so easily suddenly starts to feel a lot smaller. So, yeah, I'm... I'm 
very excited about this and the prospect of being able to do so much um is 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 very quite is really quite exciting because Getting high levels on this account will be massive. I'm going to, ideally, I don't want my magic XP to overtake my range XP because I like being range based and there's no point getting a load of extra combat levels that we don't need. But there's a lot of runway there because we're nearly at, what, 7 million range XP and we're only at like 2 mil magic XP. So it shouldn't be too bad, really. Although, in an ideal world, I'll probably have knocked that all all out by by january to be honest but yeah being rich oh god i've got the hiccups being rich has its perks oh it's the first white stack of items that we've had on this account ever 100k air runes and we are not done yet right there is 50,000 chaos runes and i think that's where i'm going to call it for now because i honestly just can't be bothered to buy any more but 6 million GP got us 50,000 casts, which is a lot. So we're probably talking about 60 mil GP for 99. But still, that's really, really actually quite achievable for me. So that's pretty nice. And we'll start our splashing journey later on. But, but, but in the meantime, I think probably going back to Revenants is the play. Um, look at that, though. Oh, that looks so good now. Two collection log slots to go. It would be so nice if I still had the crossbow. And I'll be honest, I am fucking gutted that I don't. But that is a really nice collection log. And hopefully we can knock out these other two items ASAP. I'd be really interested in getting the salve amulet next. Um, because then I could just go back and start doing agility. Because the last thing that I'm going to need is the Vigora's chain mace. But... Yeah, getting the south will be not the south. The amulet of avarice will be really, really nice. Whoops! <laughs> I'm watching uh, Yu-Gi-Oh pack openings, and I completely missed this guy saying Frey question mark. So, Pomzi, if you're watching, yes, it was me. I just wasn't paying attention. Sorry. I'll tell you what, though. One reason I am very, very happy about getting getting the scepter is that at least it's not my last item I need to get. That would, like, really hurt. Like, imagine, like, going another 20,000 revenants after I green logged it just to get the scepter. That would be pretty, pretty bleak. So I'm glad it's not the last one. He's spellbook swapping on me again. It's the same guy. Oh, he's so annoying because he fucking shreds me every single time. Oh, just rigor just absolutely murders you. On. Look at that! I swear that was through prayer. That is ridiculous. All right, all done. That's good news, actually. Oh, he's gonna fucking freeze me in here, isn't he? Okay, I'm away from the PK, but I have to get past the Maledictus. Uh. <laughs> okay, this guy can't kill me there, so it's all good. <laughs> wow, that hurt. Oh, that's fun. Don't. Yes! Yes! Go <laughs> on! Yeah, oh, come on! Kill him! Kill him! Oh my god, he's shredding him! Oh, come on! Oh! Come on, he's doing a good job. He's absolutely working him, to be fair. Uh, oh god, I can't stay because I'm going to die. <laughs> I really want to find this out. Have I got anything on me? A little tiny bit. Come on, Mujerio, go. That might go bank and then come back. They'll probably still be fighting. Oh, they're gone. That's sad. Oh, I hope our boy. I hope our boy won. So on that last trip, we got a night. Oh, fuck's sake. So yes, on that last trip, we got a nice little drop of six magic seeds again. So we're now up to 72 magic seeds, which aside from being, oh my God, when did they get so cheap? I remember them being like 200K or nearly forever. That's wild. Um, but that is a lot of farming XP there. I mean, they're what, 13K each. So that's, you know, 900K farming XP in theory, just there. 
that is cool very nice still having this in the bank not probably not going to take it out of the bank so don't worry about it getting the crossbow treatment um but yeah really nice to have a weapon and actually feel like i've made some progress so last night we hit a level 93 range on mobile as well as level 82 magic from splashing 93 range that's pretty crazy um the main thing i want to ask you guys though and i might have already asked this through the video but i kind of want to ask it a bit more directly and say please comment about this is should i have to get the crossbow again so obviously i got the crossbow in episode what eight and lost it again in episode nine um but i need to th think now because we're getting quite relatively close to finishing and it's probably it's relatively likely that i won't get another one um should i have to get another one to complete the chunk and like have one in the bank because you know i, I it's there as a placeholder it's in the collection log um and i have equipped it so in the chunk picker the the, the wording is um, you know, receive blah 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 in the collection log, which is obviously there, and also equip your best in slot item, which you know in my case is crossbow. Um, and I have technically done both of those, even though I don't have it in the bank. Um, but should I have to get another one to leave this chunk, or can I get it and then, or can I roll a chunk again once I complete the collection log and you know all the other uh, grinds? But mainly, if I complete this log, get 14 out of 14, does that count? Um, I mean, I think I would probably want to get a crossbow back again anyway, because it's just going to be my best in slot range item for probably the whole of this account. Um, so I'll probably want to get one back anyway, but it would be nice to get it back at a point where I feel like I need it, as opposed to like up front and then not use it for ages. Um and I'm probably going to be back here anyway to come and get Revan Ether at some point. So, you know, I'd get it at that point as well. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think and, and the reasons why. I lean towards, I think it's probably fine to move on without it. And I'll probably get it back anyway at some point. Um, but if you guys really strongly feel that I need to have it at the point of rolling the next chunk, then I'll, I'll obviously stay and get it. Uh -huh. Let me know. So one thing we've not actually looked at for a long time that I thought was actually worth looking at because new viewers probably have never seen my chunk map. Um, but this is kind of what we're working with. It's, it's you know, quite a ridiculous L shape that we've got going on here. Um, but what's more interesting is this task list. And we've actually done 21 of 31 tasks available in this chunk, which really isn't too bad. Um, Especially considering, in fact, I got 60 attack as well, didn't I? So we can take that off. So 22 of 31. Uh, we've got 81 of the 89 agility, really not too bad. Now we've got access to the werewolf course down here. It's really not too bad. Getting that silver bar was definitely worth it. The 60 defense we could kind of knock out whenever we wanted, really. I'm just not, for the, because um, getting additional combat levels within the Revenant Caves just would not be worth it. 75 fire making would be a bit of a long one to be honest um not too bad um i don't think um especially if i go so dry that i've got u logs to spare i don't think i am gonna go long enough that i'm gonna have u logs to spare um i think that would be a lot of revenant kills probably about a hundred thousand that i'd need to get to be able to need to have u logs to get 75 fire making but maybe that will happen Either way, I think doing that at Oak Logs wouldn't really be too bad either, to be honest. So level 75 isn't too hard, and you get a lot of XP for fire making in comparison to fletching. 87 fletching, again, we're not we're doing we're not doing that on purpose. I think we'll have a better shot of getting that just from the U logs that we get from Revenants. Um I'm currently at I think seven and a half thousand U logs, which is most of the way there um well not most of the way there that's why it's level 78 79 but you know a decent chunk and we're gonna be at revenants for a decent while longer i think um 
only missing from the best in slot tasks. We're only missing the Vigorous Chain Mace and the Amulet of Avarice. We've got the rest of this stuff, which is pretty cool. Most of it's just Black Dehyde and Dragon equipment. I've obviously not equipped most of this yet, you know, the Dragon stuff, because I can't, because my defense is too low. Um, the Magic Shield is obviously also just that fletching task of 87 fletching, so I just need to uh, knock that out at some point. The Collection Log, again, we're only missing the Vigorous Chain Mace and the Amulet of Avarice. We've got everything else because we've had multiple of each emblem and we've got the other two weapons. So, yeah, it, it's not too far off. And I'll be honest, if we just get some RNG and get the Amulet of Avarice or the Chain Mace or both relatively quickly suddenly this town this this chunk is pretty much done um other than some pretty quick skilling goals i mean i say quick skilling goals uh eight agility levels and uh, 14 fletching levels probably won't be that quick but it will be quick relative to doing you know tens of thousands of revelants um i'm happy that i got a couple of the weapons before i got an amulet of avarice because the amulet of avarice is twice as common as each of the weapons are so you could quite easily get quite a lot of avarice dupes before you've got, you know, multiple weapons. So I'm quite happy about that. Um, hopefully we will get more weapons. We, if I can get the mace and then I'm just sat there waiting for an avarice, that would be beautiful. I would prefer not to have the mace as the last thing that I get because I could actually use the mace to get 80 strength before knocking out the agility, which would be very very useful indeed um but yeah i thought it worth kind of showing you guys this showing that we're actually making a lot of progress on this chunk 22 out of 31 is no joke so as death chunks go we're getting through it um we just need to uh keep going keep the trusty maple short bow firing and we'll get that sooner or later also actually looking at this chunk map i don't know if you guys can see any kind of use in particular for the theremin scepter um, it would be nice if you can think of something that I didn't do before or couldn't do before um, that is now possible that with the scepter that we got. Thamorons. I keep saying Thamorons for some reason. Thamoron scepter. Um, because, yeah, it's, it's a cool weapon to have, I think, and I can't think of any particular uses for it myself, but it's a cool one to have. So I've killed an additional about a thousand revenants since getting the scepter and we didn't really get anything too interesting. I'm pretty sure I got another four mil ancient medallion off screen, but that is about it. Um, I'd like to say a massive thank you to the channel members as always. LS, the big man himself, doing bits as always. Uh, Fontsast, Sir Yolo, Jack Stelmer and Taufin at the Amethyst tier. Crito and Fireball Tech at the Rune tier, Elpinin, Come Crumpet and Soda at the Legend tier, and then all the boys at the Gold tier, Avery Fields, Eddie Mayer, Shocked Thief, Mitchell Nunley, DJ Focus, Grimsley, Grimzoso, Salnexor, Kai, Hunterman, Carl Sprouse, Ninrim, Papa Brando, Squang, Olivette, Hazmat83, Nilo360, Croporo, Bandio Gaming, Cluey Louie, Asher Anchor, Dominique G, and Spooky Pasta. Thank you so much for the support, guys, as always. And I hope everyone enjoyed this video. The gains have been huge. I mean, we, we got the Scepter, which is massive. 93 range, which is, you know, we're really getting up there. I think I probably will get 99, to be honest, before finishing this chunk. It's all dependent on RNG though. 82 magic at the moment. I'm going to still keep creeping that up in the background. So hopefully we can be sort of mid to late 80s by the next video. And uh, yeah, it's been a good one, I think. Uh, so some, some solid progress made. And I got a lot of emblems in this video. So we're very, very rich now, which is very nice. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.